So hi, two years back I had put a video on how to prepare Pesaha Appam or Maundy Thursday Appam and there were lots of comments and suggestions that there were, this is not how the Pesaha Appam is made, why did you put the cashew nut and raisins, why is the cross so big and so many so many comments. So why I prepared that Appam that I will tell you later. First let me share the story behind the Pesaha Appam. The story dates back 4,000 years when the, the Israelites were uh, in Egypt and they were preparing to leave Egypt and there were the famous 10 plagues, the frogs, the Nile turning red and uh, the locust and the 10th plague was going to strike which was the firstborn of every family was going to die. So the God told the Israelites to make a sign with blood on the on their doors so that the angel of death passes over their homes and the dead firstborns don't die and so they did that and they were saved and they were also told to make unfermented bread to remember that day the Jews have seven day long festival even now Fast forward 2000 years, during the time of Jesus, Jesus on Monday Thursday, that is uh, of Passover, he had his last supper with his 12 disciples. You might remember the, the picture of Jesus with his 12 disciples, the famous Da Vinci picture. So um, he had the uh, last supper and he broke the bread he gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body. And this, then he gave the wine, he said, this is my blood. So that is when the Eucharist or the Holy Mass, the Holy Kurbana was set. So to remember that day, even today, the St. Thomas Christians, they have the Pesaha from tradition on Monday Thursday. So the tradition uh, among the St. Thomas Christians in many parts of Kerala is they will prepare the unfermented appam only on Monday Thursday and the appam is unfermented with the appam they will have a coconut milk cake the elder of the family will lead the uh, ceremony he will be the main chief at the table, he will cut the appam and dip it in the coconut milk and give it to all the members of the family. 